Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment of time? I just wanted to come on here and um, talk to y'all for a little bit. But before we get off of today, let's get into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us throughout this day, Father God, and show us the way. And I pray, Father God, to come to me at this moment in time in order to get a people out of the truth. And I pray, Father God, to let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to get a people out of the truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Listen, it is something that I want to speak to y'all about. Um, about a certain person. And um, <clears throat> these things that I'm speaking about is uh, is to let y'all know how we uh, how me and the father operates at times when even through certain different types of things because we wanted no souls to perish. But now. I have to talk to y'all about, uh, I mean, well, right now. You have to understand, you have to know that it is judgment time. So a lot of things, excuse me. So a lot of things are being uh, cut out. Now, um, a lot of things are being cut out because it's judgment day and it's judgment time for a lot of people on this planet. You understand? And um, they tend to take judgment time and judgment day as if it's a joke or if it's a game. You know, uh, if it's just something that God is talking about. But I'm going to show you something. Excuse me for the noise, too. Now, this specific person that I want to speak to y'all about. <clears throat> he knows he's done wrong. And he knows I know it. Understand. Uh, like a year ago, almost a year ago, something like that. He was part of this gang stalking group as well. I've caught him and I've seen him. You don't know that I've seen him, but I've seen him. So, um, I want y'all to know. This um, this Marcus Rogers. You see, we held back, and we've been investigating. Don't forget that you are an investigation. This goes for everybody. Everybody's being investigated <laughs> on this planet. That is a part of God's, you know. Um, family and a part of uh, um, the enemies group but everybody's being investigated you understand I want y'all to know this now because we're investigating these judgments and we're investigating justice upon this earth so what I want y'all to know about this Marcus Rogers is that he tries to play both sides, right? He's not both sides. He is an agent of Satan. You understand? And Marcus, I'm calling judgment upon you. Because it's something that I know about you. That I had to save you from. That you don't even know. But you you cause yourself. And I'm gonna get we're gonna get into that. 
because you know I know. Now, I call judgment upon you, Marcus Rogers, and I command and I demand it in the name of Jesus Christ because of you misleading the sheep. And I prophesy, I declare to you on the sound of my voice, I command it. You are an agent of the wicked one. And you know I know. Last year, I caught you uh, game stalking. Like a year, year and a half ago, something like that, a couple of years and some months. I caught you game stalking. I saw you. I saw you. Like I travel different states and I go different places. And um, I caught him though. Wherever, he, wherever I was at that moment of time, I seen him. He didn't think I seen him because he had on a hat. I seen him. I caught him. Plain and clear. Plain and clear. So now this is the thing. What I want you to know that you don't think I know that we had to save you from, me and the Father. The Father told me, excuse me, the Father told me to pray for you at that moment in time. And he saved your life, he spared your life. Yeah, I know it. He spared your life the first time, Marcus. He spared your life and you know he spared your life. But you did it again. You went back to the end. He spared your life. You were about to kill yourself. And we caught you in the midst. We caught you right in the midst of the time that you were about to do this thing. Because you had lost everything. And you can say, I hope you're listening, I hope you're watching this video. You can say what you want to say about me. All you want to. But you know and I know what me and the Father did for you. We spared you. So in places, how y'all say with the military, life for life, right? I want you to know this though. We've I held back all that, you know, for this long, you know, to let you know this. Because we were investigating you. The higher ups are investigating you. We see you. We, we know how everybody moves. But I just want you to know your life was spared the first time. But you will be judged by God this time. You were in a very low point the last time. And then when God raised you up again, I don't even want to say it. You know why. But I see it. And I know it. You work for these government officials. We know this. But I'm just here to let y'all know. Um, about these things that 
the people that they think that we're not watching, that everything that they're doing behind the scenes, and that they're thinking that they're getting away with their sorcery and their magic and their witchcraft and things like this here, that you're doing behind the scenes and don't think that nobody knows. We see you. The Lord is not pleased with y'all. Especially what you did after he saved and forgave you. Forgave you and spared your life. See, these are the things that we know personally about y'all. It's because we're watching. hurts that I had to save your life and then you still turn, <clears throat> you still did what you did. It's sad, but that's okay. It's all right. You and, you and God will take up that matter from here on out. But uh, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know, guys, that, um, He's uh he's misleading the sheep, you know, and I want y'all to understand. I want y'all to open up your eyes. That's why I told y'all about these uh, uh, wicked ones and these angels, these ones that keeps trying to portray themselves as God's people, and then trying to uh, uh, um, mislead you, trying to play that like they God's people and, and misleading you in different directions. That you think that this person. Is, is of God, this person is not of God. This person works for the enemy. Why every other day, why every time you look around, he's bringing up these government officials on his uh, day platforms and things. Come on, you can't be, you can't serve two masters. You can only serve one. I've told y'all. So, we're not playing in this hour. Do not play with judgment. We're not playing in this hour. So I just want to come on here and let y'all know at this moment in time. And um, judgment will be rendered the point. So uh, I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in time. Get to some fast and praying, some reading the word, build relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord, and uh, this God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.